good morning. It's really early. Well, it's not that early. It's like 7 a.m. Um, Mark, we woke up at 6. Yeah, we woke up at like 6. We're supposed to wake up earlier than that, but that's really early. Connor wouldn't get out of bed. No. <laughs> nope. Not even after I made the coffee. At the coffee house. Um, <laughs> Mark, the mechanic here, is a super cool guy. Um, he's gonna let us pull the bus in. So hopefully it does not get stuck in the snow again. We have a repeat of day one. If it does, we're in the right place. We're, we're in a towing place. So yeah. we, can get, we can get it out. Um, but we're gonna pull the bus in, let it get warm. Uh, and then we're gonna go get some breakfast while the bus is kind of warming up so that we can get ready to paint. Um, we'll probably sweep it out one more time. Again, Jeez. it's like the 20th time I've swept and mopped. Yeah. But it's gotta be clean. It's gotta be ready. Yeah. So we'll pull it into the garage. Thank you Southside Towing again for everything that you do for us. We are so grateful for all the small things and all the big things like being able to pull it into a garage this weekend is going to help us immensely because we need to get painted and with the cold weather coming back into minnesota we can't let the paint set it won't it won't set if it's this cold outside so we're gonna pull it into the garage um hopefully get it primed and then um wait about an hour and start painting and then my dad is on his way up tonight as well he's bringing us a, a pretty large wood stove but we're gonna put it in, put it in the back, only put it out throughout the window, so the stove pipe is gonna go out to the side of the window. And that's just so we don't have to run the bus while we're working on it. We've already killed like half a tank of gas in almost two and a half months. So but we've- didn't, didn't really burn through it, but it's still expensive stuff, but. Yeah, so my dad's coming up. Um, we're gonna put that wood stove in so then we can use wood heat while we're finishing the rest of the bus during winter time and then that wood stove will probably get taken out and we'll put in the one. My dad is actually making us one right now. Um, he said it might not turn out, it's his first time putting together a wood stove, but that would be super cool if my dad could make us a wood stove and we could put it in our home. Like that would be awesome. Awesome. So we're moving the bus into the garage. Connor's first time driving the bus, so hopefully he's having an okay time. I don't know, he didn't have to move it very far, so hopefully it was okay. But yeah, thank you to Connor's work, Southside Towing, for letting us park the bus in the garage today. We seriously appreciate you guys. We're gonna get some paint on, so we'll keep you guys updated once we pull the bus in and let it get warm. It's so awesome that we get to use the garage. Honestly, we don't know what we do without it right now, so thank you Southside Towing. We seriously, seriously appreciate it. Minnesota winter has been kicking our butt with, with the bus, so this will give us some good time to really get some stuff done that we've been needing to get done, so here we go. <laughs> start um, getting some work done with the paint um, I was just sweeping out the bus and everything is melted off so that's good um, there's no snow on the bus and so it's kind of good because it allowed us to like see some leaks and stuff going on so um, the only leak that I have found after caulking and everything is this little lip here on the back of the emergency door um, I don't know if this little part is actually leaking or if it was just condensation dripping off of the door. Um, this seems to be dry underneath here where the seal is. So I think this little lip just has some water coming through it. Um, it actually wraps around to the bottom of the bus. Um, I can't see much down there as there's other metal beams covering this actual hardware piece that they have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and caulk that piece um, just to make sure that that's what's leaking and that it's not condensation coming from the door. Um, so we'll caulk that and then hopefully the leaking stops. Um, if not, we probably just have some sort of seal on the door that we need to replace, which is no big deal. 
So yeah, as soon as I get this cult, we'll be able to start painting from the front to the back of the bus. And then we're gonna do um, an oil change and fluid changes on the bus while the paint is drying. And then my dad should be coming with a wood stove here shortly. Um, it takes him about two and a half hours to get to Bemidji from where he's at. So yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. How's it coming, babe? It's going pretty good. Um, I think I'm getting really, really high on these paint fumes. So we turned the ventilator on. Oh, you're filming? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm not getting intoxicated on paint fumes. Oh, Children. I was. Children. I, I was, and then I left, and I still feel a little bit funky. Um, but yeah, it's going pretty well. This stuff, dries really quickly, which is really nice, and it sets up in like a really thick, rubbery, kind of like plastic. So I would, I'd really recommend this stuff to other people who are doing a bus conversion. It's pretty spendy stuff, um, but it's definitely worth it because it is sealing it up really well. I can't see that. What is it called? Um, this stuff, the part number is RBQ for a cord or RBG 100. It's a rust barrier made by Duplicolor. And then there's an off brand, which I also have called 415. It's the same stuff, it's a little bit cheaper, but it's, it's the same idea. It's like a rubberized anti-rust undercoating. But it works great for the steel floor of the bus. Yeah, and it's drying very quickly, which is what we need. So we primed the um, seat rails down here. And then up to this point where the wheel wells are, we were primed. So we're just doing a little bit at a time so that we don't um, paint the entire floor and then have nothing to do in the bus for a little while. So um, we're just getting the back end to dry for now. My dad is currently on his way up with the wood stove. So we'll be putting in the wood stove today as a temporary means for heat so we can not use these heaters. Um, we're still debating on these heaters whether or not we're going to keep them in the bus. Currently, right now, they are the heat for the entire bus, and if we take them out, we won't have any heat except for up by the driver's quarters up there for heat while we're driving. So, still have to figure that out. We're, we're still debating on whether or not to take these out or not. If anyone has any suggestions... Rick, once again, the MVP. Bringing us some firewood for the wood stove he just dropped off. Such a boss. Always helping us out. Great dude.
dad got the wood stove in the bus. Now we just have to get it set up. Um, we're gonna put it out the back window for now. Um, like the stove pipe and stuff, we're gonna put it out the back window. Um, we don't know if we're gonna keep this big of a stove for in the bus. This is just kind of a temporary one that my parents had at home. So yeah, we are this far with the paint to about the wheel wells and it's drying super fast actually and then I had cleaned out the entire bus up here and got everything kind of wiped off there was like rust on everything so took that all and then did organizer bins up here for all of our stuff so yeah it's coming along <laughs> for letting us use the garage all weekend. We really appreciate you guys so much.